JQ is an implementation of Q on the JVM. The easiest way to access JQ is via the online version. When you first load, on the left will be a code editor and on the right will be the console. From the code editor, we can execute a line by either pressing Control and Enter to execute that line. Or highlighting code and pressing Control and E. Commands can also be directly entered into the console itself. Most simple mathematical operations are supported, such as addition, division, both against atoms and less. I can then store the result of calculations into variables and use those variables in operations again. Most of the Q language types are supported, such as time and date timestamp, these can be cast to the lower time types of minute and second, as you would expect. These also behave, how they typically behave in the Q language within mathematical operations. So I can take a date. I can add days by adding to it, or I can take a minute and subtract minutes from it. Almost all casting and parsing is supported. And I can index into the list L. including outside it to return the null value. As well as lists, we can create dictionaries. So the a list of three symbols map to a list of three integers. I can save that to the variable D. I can create a more complex dictionary. Lastly, we can define tables. So far, all the demo I've shown you has taken place within the online JQ environment. This is in fact a very slow JavaScript interpretation of the JVM running our code. The, the actual Java code can be run locally on your own machine. If I open a DOS command prompt, I can run JQ and execute the same commands locally that you've seen before. I can even save files and pull them back. JQ is also binary wire compatible. This allows me to connect to it on port 5000 from Qt Studio and issue commands. If I use the show command, you'll see that it actually prints to the console. What I've shown here is the almost full extent of the current JQ environment. You can download this on timestore.com forward slash JQ. You can give it a try. You can try the online version and you can either sign up to our mailing list or follow our social media. The code will be posted on GitHub and we look forward to your feedback.